Hey, this is Brett. Hope everybody's having a great day out there today. And I am extremely excited to go over our very first 2025 Jeep Grand Cherokee on our lot. This is also a Summit Reserve package. It has the high altitude package, the advanced ProTech Group 4, and the luxury tech Group 5 on it. It is in Baltic Gray, which is paint code PAS. I shoot all my videos in 4K, and if you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell notifications, and get updates on the videos I do each and every day so you do not miss out on awesome vehicles like this one. This one has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. It is paired up with the eight-speed automatic transmission, and it has 293 horsepower. It's gonna get you 25 miles per gallon highway, 18 city for an average of 21 miles per gallon. And this thing is absolutely beautiful one of the most loaded up Grand Cherokee L's that you can get. And I'm just gonna go all the way around, show you all the options, and hopefully I don't miss any because there's just a ton of options on this vehicle. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments below before we get started. Okay, up front we have the LED headlamps, LED running lights, and LED fog lamps. I will turn all those on at the end of the video so you can see just how bright they are and you also have the front bumper parking sensors. This one has the light gray inserts on the grill there. You get the gloss black Jeep lettering, part of that high altitude package. The high altitude package also gives you the granite crystal painted 21 inch wheels. It comes with continental cross contact tires. These are 275 45R21s, and you can see kind of have an all-terrain tread pattern to them. Uh, so really nice tires and wheels on this vehicle. Let me know what you think of those wheels, guys. Very intricate. I know I wouldn't want to clean them, that's for sure. Uh, Baltic gray metallic. It's got just a little bit of metal flake in it. It's not as, uh, doesn't have as much metal flake or as big of metal flake as granite crystal, because if you look at these wheels, this is a different paint color. Uh, it's got a lot more bigger flakes in it, uh, but still a really cool color. And you also have the gloss black mirrors, the gloss black trim around the windows and everything there. You also have the gloss black on top of the door handles, as well as the Grand Cherokee lettering and the American flag there. These vehicles are just absolutely amazing. They're so off-road capable. People always forget that the Grand Cherokee is one of the most awarded SUVs on the planet. And uh, that's because they have such off-road capability. This one does have the towing package, receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. It has the four corner air suspension. You get the dual rear exhaust on this one. Uh, backup parking sensors there as well. There's your Summit um, logo. You also get the gloss black Jeep lettering there. Let's take a quick look at the back seats as long as we're back here, or the back storage area, I should say. We do have the cover for this uh, receiver hitch. I actually did a video on how to take this off, but uh, we keep those inside so they don't go missing. You do get the Berber floor mat back here. There's also a storage spot underneath there. That's how you get to your jack tools and your spare tire. You also have the factory subwoofer up here, part of that Macintosh premium sound system, the power lift gate button. These third row seats are power fold downs, so you just press these two buttons and they go down all by themselves. The third row passengers can enjoy a cup holder, USB, USB-C, you get the silhouettes of the new body style Grand Cherokee and Grand Cherokee L on that window, and you get the Jeep climbing up the side of the window on that side, couple little Easter eggs there. The driver's side also gets a cup holder and two USBs. These seats also power up like that. You get a nice storage cubby right here and a couple uh, tie down hooks there as well. Press this button, it'll beep at you three times and begin its descent. Also note you get speakers on the inside of that gate. LED tail lamps, those are amazingly bright as well. We'll uh, turn those on too. Has the capless fuel fill, which is a really nice feature. Four wheel disc brakes standard on the Grand Cherokee as well. And all the mirrors on the uh, Summit Reserves are gonna have blind spot, heated mirrors, built in directional signals, 
and uh, I believe they power fold in as well. You get the enter and go system, so you just have to have the key fob in your pocket. It'll automatically unlock. Let's go take a look at the second row seats. You get that Palermo tan leather interior in here. And I, I know there's a specific name to that. We'll check that out once we get the um, window sticker pulled up here. Got the black piping on there, the quilted stitching, Berber floor mats up here as well. The uh, second row passengers enjoy a center console and they also enjoy a storage area and two cup holders there. The second row seats are heated and cooled. You get rear air controls, two USBs, two USB-Cs, and a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in. So you can get to the third row by just pulling this handle right here, and the seat will actually slide forward like that. You get the Berber floor mat back here as well, and the third row seats are trimmed out the same as the second row. What's also nice back here is you have these buttons to put that third row down from this uh, area of the vehicle, which is nice as well. That seat goes back down like that. Just note the kind of metal trim around the back rest of the seat there. The Luxury Tech Group 5 gives you the side window shades, which are a really nice feature. And I really like the wood grain trim on the doors here the quilted leather there as well. And uh, looks really, really nicely done. You have your child safety locks on the back doors. Let's check out the front seats. You get that same Palermo tan leather interior. You get the Summit embossed into the backrest. Both of these front seats are heated. Both of these front seats are cooled. Both of these front seats have massaging seats on them. Berber floor mats up here, auto headlamps, power telescopic, and tilt steering wheel. Do note the combination of the gloss black and wood grain trim that flows nicely into the door here. You have the memory driver's seat, that's for your massaging seats. Power windows, locks, and mirrors, and to get these mirrors to fold in, you just turn this to the bottom and the mirrors fold in like that. Macintosh premium sound system. And let's hop inside and check out all the options. Now I am going to be sorry if I miss anything. I'm going to try and get everything on this vehicle, but there is just a ton of stuff. Uh, and before I forget, this one does have the heads up display. It's really dim right now, but uh, you can see the speedometer right there in the windshield. You can brighten that, raise it, lower it, or you can completely turn it off. So that does have the head up display. You get the 12 inch LCD display in the instrument cluster here. It does have the compass, outside temp, digital speedometer. And then if we move it over uh, one, you get your driver assist and then your night vision. So that is a really cool thing, especially if you're driving in the dark, you can see, you know, kind of infrared um, heat. It has the heat so it'll show anything that's moving out there. So that's a really cool system as well. You get your driver assist system. There's a ton of options that we could go through on that radio. You get the leather wrapped, wood grain trimmed, gloss black trim steering wheel. Probably one of my favorite steering wheels on the market today. Has the soft touch leather on it, as well as cruise controls and adaptive cruise controls. Lane keep assist, your information and Bluetooth controls on the left. This button shows you like all the different, um, gives you kind of different screens that you can select. And then you get the paddle shifters on the back of the steering wheel as well as audio controls. This one has the Uconnect 5 10.1 inch touchscreen radio. It does have the factory navigation system. That navigation system is powered by TomTom. Tom. So that's a really nice system. It's supposed to be five times faster than the old Uconnect 4 system and you get your start stop capabilities, lane departure, stability control, hazard lights, parking sensors, perpendicular and parallel park assist. And this button is for your passenger side seat screen. So somebody could plug an HDMI in there and they could uh, play video games or something or watch a movie um, while you're driving. And what's neat is when you're the driver, you really can't see what's going on on that screen because right now it's still on. And if you go over here, then it shows up so the driver won't be distracted by that screen. 
You get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities on this radio. I'm going to go really fast on this stuff because this can take quite a while, and we still have to turn on the lights and check out the original window sticker, and we are on a time limit here at the dealership. So uh, heated, cooled seat buttons, heated steering wheel. You also have your massaging seats right here. You can do lower back, extended, low extend, rock climb, waterfall for the driver or the passenger seat. So that's a really nice addition to this vehicle. You get the rear climate controls, not really an addition, but uh, just a nice feature of this vehicle. So here are all your different apps. Now they call them apps, but they're really just links to different parts of the radio um, that you can do. And like I said, I'm just gonna go through this stuff pretty quick. Um, it has Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, uh, so you can project your phone to the screen. I believe those systems are wireless now. And here is a bunch of stuff, uh, especially the fam cam. So this is a really cool camera. So this, you can see what's going on in the back of the vehicle. I'll even wave to you, show you that it's live right there. And uh, you can zoom in on a certain seat. So see right now it's zoomed in on the driver's side um, second row seat. If I wanted to zoom in on the back seats, I just press the back seats and now I'm seeing what's going on back there. So if the uh, kids are being rowdy or your friends are being a rowdy, you can uh, kind of check on them and make sure they're not doing anything really bad. And you get your off-road pages here, which are pretty cool. So you have your different uh, select terrains, which is part of this system right here, which I believe is the Quadra Track 2. Um, it also has the four corner air suspension there as well and you can control that from here so you have normal mode uh, lowered mode and then entry exit mode you also have off-road mode one and off-road mode two that'll raise it up one inch that'll raise it up two inches and this lowers it an inch and lowers it two inches so you can really have about five inches of different or four inches of different travel there you also have latitude longitude and altitude on the um, off-road pages and if i click this button right here you'll go up to snow mode and then sand mud you also have auto and then sport which takes you to the drag strip now if you want to get it into rock mode you have to put your transmission into neutral and then you have to press four wheel drive low and once it does all its stuff then you have to put it up into rock mode and then it'll take you to that mode and maybe once we start it i'll show you how that works so also you have pitch and roll accessory gauges and then your vehicle dynamics which are pretty cool steering angle as i turn the steering wheel you can see that angle changes and the tires actually move as well and if you go to your cameras you have uh, your reverse camera here so you can get hooked up to your boat camper trailer the first time every time and uh, even zoom in and have better results with that and then you have your trail cam so if you're off-roading in your summit reserve high altitude and you want to make sure that you're not going to wreck your 21 inch wheels on a rock or a log you got the grid lines which are dynamic showing you where your tires are going to be so you're not going to hit that rock or whatever uh, you also have your 360 cam on here so this is the surround view cam and you can see just how crystal clear everything is in the picture studio here and you get your backup cam, a wide view of that, a wide view of the front, a narrow view of the front, and then of course your normal backup cam, which takes you to that one right there. And you can put the third row headrest down and you can, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything on this one. If you go to vehicle, that'll just take you back to uh, this stuff right here. So you can turn the passenger seat off. You have the ambient lighting, which kind of lights up underneath this trim right here and once we have the lights on I can maybe show you that you might be able to see it and then uh, mirror dimmer and all that good stuff right there going back to the apps system has this and you have the those apps right there this one also has the wireless cell phone charge pad which is part of that luxury tech group 5 and uh, that so basically luxury tech group five gives the cell phone charge pad and the rear window shades you get two usbs two usb c's and an aug aug's jack hdmi port for that passenger seat and then a 12 volt power point here's your eight speed automatic transmission the quadra lift system with the different settings right now it's in off-road mode one we want to put it back to the normal mode you just press it down like that it has downhill downhill assist control and a neutral setting for flat towing 
get your keyless entry here with the remote start and power lift gate and a cup holder right there that's illuminated. You also have a spot for that key fob. Passenger side trim dash all looks really good, flows nicely into the door and uh, you get that quilted leather. So that color is called um, Tapelo. Tapelo is the color that tan, almost butterscotch colored seats. You get the second row fixed glass, power sunroof in front, Vista roof. You also get map lights, assist and SOS buttons. Also notice the suede headliner, which is a nice addition as well. You have your power sunroof and sunshade controls, map lights. You do have a spot for sunglasses and you have the rear view mirror camera. So that is a video display of what is going on behind you. You can make that a normal mirror if you want, um, but this is kind of like what a lot of race cars are going to nowadays, and it's in a lot of passenger vehicles as well. You can raise it, you can lower it, you can brighten it, and you can dim it with these buttons right here. It also has the home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. Let's see, center console, not much going on in there, just a, a light to illuminate that. And then you have another storage cubby right there to note the nice gloss black on the center console here. And let's go take a look under the hood because there was one thing I wanted to show you under there. And then we will check out all those LED lights. We'll turn the lights off in the picture studio so you can see just how bright they are. And under the hood, once again, we have the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, 293 horsepower, uh, <clears throat> 25 miles per gallon, highway, 18 city, 21 average. Engine bay, you get everything that you need to worry about is in yellow, so your windshield washer fluid's there. This is your coolant, your oil check, and uh, that's pretty much everything that they want you to touch. Oil put in right there. One thing to note is they don't have the, the nice cover on it anymore, although the engine bay is still set up with these knobs here to receive that cover. Uh, my guess is that they just cut that co cover out of putting them on any of the vehicles just to save costs. And uh, everybody knows that Stellantis is trying to uh, get to a point to make the vehicles affordable for everybody. You can see the shocks are a nice addition keeping that hood up. There's the emissions sticker. So I'm gonna turn off all the lights in here and we're gonna check out just how bright these LED lights are. Give me one second here. All right, so let's check out these LED lights and thank you if you've watched the video to this point. Uh, give me a like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. Really appreciate it. Helps out the algorithm a lot. But you can see just how bright these lights are. All LED, all extremely bright. And look at how much they illuminate the front of the area. They, I mean, like they go past the wall here, past the other wall. So definitely a very wide range of illumination and very nice white bright light. And let's check out these tail lamps because they are very good looking as well. LED license plate lights and just a really, really good um, night display on this particular Jeep. Let's go check out the original window sticker and then we'll be all done. All right, let's check out that window sticker. First thing though, I just wanted to point out that you get all the same controls on the passenger seat as you do the front seat. You also get these summit uh, plates right there. I believe those are illuminated as well. And here is the original window sticker. This will be linked in the description below as well. And you can see 2025 Grand Cherokee L Summit Reserve 4x4. Now I want you to notice the base price here, 60,560. Now I found a 2023 Grand Cherokee L Summit Reserve on the internet for sale. And I ran that window sticker and the base price on that one was 66,460. So six thousand dollars more for the 2023 over the 2025. So obviously Stellantis is listening to make their vehicles more affordable and uh, has lowered that price significantly. Exterior color, Baltic gray metal clear coat. Remember the paint coat is PAS. You get the Topalo and black interior colors, Palermo leather seats, 3.6 liter 
and the eight-speed automatic transmission. Standard equipment include that Quadratrack 2 four-wheel drive system, the electronic limited slip differential rear axle, select terrain, traffic sign recognition, hands-free power liftgate, adaptive cruise control, active lane management, full-speed collision warning, plus surround view camera, parallel and perpendicular park assist, blind spot, side distance warning, intersection collision assist system, active driving assist system, drowsy driver detection, automatic dimming rearview mirror, quadra lift air suspension, electronic stability control, hill start assist, tire pressure monitoring display, trailer tow package, anti-lock four wheel disc, brakes, semi-active damping, and rear seat object alert. Interior features, you get the Uconnect 5 with the 10.1 inch touchscreen display, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Jeep Connect with trial, 4G LTE, Wi-Fi hotspot trial, included connected travel and traffic services, nine amplified speakers with subwoofer, heated steering wheel, heated seats, ventilated front seats, heated second row seats, second row buckets with manual entry side slide, uh, third row 50-50 power folding back seat, power driver seat with back massager, power front passenger seat with back massager, driver seat memory, AC, multicolor ambient light, or LED interior lighting, and the exterior features, you get the 20 inch wheels by um, but they are superseded by the high altitude package. Optional equipment starts with the Baltic Gray Metallic 595. Customer preferred package of 23U. Gives you the front passenger interactive display, the 21 inch wheels, the Palermo leather seats, the 19 speaker high performance audio over the nine speaker, the active noise control system, 950 watt amplifier, ventilated rear seats, deluxe headliner, which is that suede headliner, the Palermo leather door trim. Advanced Protect Group 4 is a $2,865 option. Gives you the windshield wiper de-icer, heads up, head up display, night vision with pedestrian animal detection, rear view auto dimming digital display mirror, and the interior rear facing camera or fam cam, if you will. High altitude package gives you, is a 20 or $2,025 option. Gives you the 21 inch by nine inch black painted aluminum wheels, but we saw that they're granite crystal. Gloss black in exterior accents as well. And then the luxury tap route five is a $905 option. Gives you the wireless charge pad and manual second row window shades. Hands-free driving, active driving assist system with trial is a $29.95. So basically the self-driving system is on this vehicle. So uh, that is a nice addition as well. Total MSRP is $76,220 to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this particular vehicle in the upper right hand part of the screen. There's a link to our website also linked in the description below on YouTube. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain and your miles per gallon 25 highway 18 city 21 average and your safety ratings on the Grand Cherokees five and four stars up and down the board except rollover uh, five stars is uh, the standard except rollover, which is four, but very safe vehicle, definitely feel safe. Putting your family in this vehicle and driving them around. And I really don't think you can get a much nicer vehicle than this or a more capable off-road vehicle than the 2025 Jeep Grand Cherokee L Summit Reserve High Altitude Package. And we need to stop all the bad talk about, talk about Stellantis because they are producing some very fine vehicles and I really haven't heard a lot going on with the Grand Cherokees as far as quality, build quality or anything like that. So that talk needs to stop because they are making some of the nicest vehicles on the planet. And to see more pictures of this Jeep Grand Cherokee or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Grand Cherokees, Grand Cherokee L's, you name it, we got it. Go to the website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest, if not the largest, catalogs of vehicle walkarounds on YouTube and stay current on our ever-changing and vast new car inventory so you do not miss out on gems like this one. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Grand Cherokee videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we are super excited to be offering the 2025 Jeep Grand Cherokee L summit reserve high altitude package and baltic gray metallic thank you so much for checking out the video i hope you enjoyed it remember to like subscribe and share on the youtube channel i'd really appreciate it and it helps out that algorithm a lot thanks again and have a great day and we'll see you soon